Welcome back to another one. We're right where we left off, down here camping, but we're about to pack up and head to Renmark. So let's hook on the car, let's get going, and let's make our way to Renmark. So I'm on my way to Renmark to go catch up with Brody and Samantha. Now, I actually haven't met Brody before. We met Samantha at the event in Gold Coast that we had for our online business. Now these guys have been traveling Australia full time as well. They're in our community, in our team. They're not actually under us in the business, but they're in the same community as us. Now, amazing. They, these guys are awesome. Like I said, I haven't met Brody before, but obviously we follow each other on social media and they seem like very good people. And I hope that we get along because <laughs> We've booked in the weekend together at this um at this joint in Renmark. So if we don't like each other, uh, bad luck because <laughs> we're sort of stuck with each other. But nah, we normally get along with just about everyone in our team. It's um it's good because like our community, our online business, we're all like-minded people. You know, we want the same thing. We have the same goals. We're obviously in the same career. We're doing the same sort of thing. So there's always a lot to talk about, and um it's good. You're surrounding yourself with people that are you know positive and they. Look forward to the future and they have goals and visions and all that sort of stuff you're not really you know surrounding yourself with people that always talk about remember when you know what I mean you, you, you hang out with people that talk about the past and that's all they remember and they don't really go too far in life and if you put yourself around people that you know always talk about the future and their goals and what they want to achieve it's more likely likely that they're going to be successful and that, that they are successful in um, in that aspect of life so that's what we're trying to do lately, you know, surround ourselves with people that are going to motivate us, they're going to push us forward, they're going to, you know, inspire us and just all around good people, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm on my way to Renmark at the moment. Like I said, Jordan is back at home. She wants to stay in Mildura for a bit. Um, obviously, you know, travel life, it, it's, it's awesome. She loves it. She loves the van, but sometimes we just need a little bit of a break from one another and from the van as well. So she's gonna spend a couple of weeks in Madura. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing trips here and there, coming and going, just doing, you know, weekend stuff like this. I might go to Bendigo, I might go, you know, a few different places, catch up with a few different people. Obviously, for content reasons and for me just not wanting to stay in Madura. I don't wanna stay in Madura. There's nothing there and um, yeah, it's pretty boring. But anyway, we are on route to Renmark to catch up with Brody and Sam. So I'll see you when we're there. So we made it to camp, all set up. Been here for a little bit now, but we are here with Brody and Samantha. So I want to introduce you to these guys. This is Sir Brody. How are we going, going, mate? Yeah, we're going good. Yeah, good. We're down the Murray River here, um, checking it all out. We haven't been around this area at the moment, but it's all new. Yep. So you guys travel full time as well, like us? Yeah, yeah. So we've been on the road for just over two years. We're going into our third year now, um, officially. So yeah. loving it. Loving it. Wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, it's completely new different lifestyle to where we were before as yeah i was a plumber sam was working in administration and yeah we just got jack of that kind of lifestyle and going around in circles so we thought go like, around in circles in the country <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> where he's been he's been all over the shop eh yeah so obviously we started in queensland um headed north 
went right up to Cape York, come back around Darwin, spent yeah eight or nine months over in WA and done SA, and now we're back in SA uh, pretty much now. So awesome, yeah, nearly done awesome. a full loop now. Now they're spending the weekend with me, the poor buggers. <laughs> but <laughs> here we life. go. This is Samantha, the one and only. Hello. She's a little bit camera shy, but it's okay. <laughs> Tell the people about yourself. Oh, that's a question I haven't been asked for a long time. But yeah, I'm a Kiwi. Been living here in Australia for almost 10 years. Like Brody said, we've been traveling around for just over two years now, which has been the best experience ever. Prior to that, I was yeah working in admin and it's just, yeah, it was pretty tough. I was commuting up to 20 hours a week. So this lifestyle is just the way to go. Awesome. Awesome. So there we have it. <laughs> Brody and Sam, lovely people. And um, they've blessed me with the opportunity to spend the weekend with them, which is amazing. So we're going to do some fishing. We're going to cook up some damper and have an awesome time. So we'll see you when we're doing that. What do you got there, mate? I don't know, mate. Probably a big barrel. Big carp, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. Hungry, Sam? <laughs> got for you. Oh, she's got a bit of bend in that. Look at it. Nah, it's a big carp. This is a big carp, man. This is a big one. He's <laughs> That's a big carp. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh. <laughs> you reckon, buddy? Bit of dinner? That's a, that's a lump egg. We are on, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking feeding time. Feeding time. Samantha, are you hungry? I'm starving. Starving. Nice. Big carp, mate. Oh, a big one. This is tiny, mate. Beautiful. You go over with your mate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Walking the dog, mate. We're on again here. We've changed up the bait to a bit of cheese. A little mud marlin. Oh man, this is as big as the first one. No, you can't. Oh, I got him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's how you do it, mate. That's what you call some action. <laughs> Out of action! Turtle man! <laughs> Fish on! Look at the bend in the rod! Woohoo! Oh, another scout blaster, mate. What are you doing on? Quick, jump in and grab it. Keep going, mate. Come back for seconds. Okay. What do you got there, mate? I don't know how I got the muscle, buddy. You got a muscle and a fish. Mate, that's the first incredible fish here. And a muscle on the line. That's actually a clean mark with a perch. A little perch? You reckon? Undersize, eh? I don't know. Who cares? Cook him up anyway. Oh, another baby carp. Mate, how many of these things are in here? Stinky, bloody bastard. Rightio, welcome to the Mozzies and Kings cooking show. <laughs> Today we are cooking some damper. Not too sure how to do it. I've done it one time, but uh, Jordan mainly did it for me. So, Samantha, take it away. Well, thanks to Google, we have a <laughs> recipe. Brody, if you wouldn't mind assisting. Yeah. Yep. We've got one cup of self-raising flour. I don't need more than one cup, surely. Well, you want to double it? Yeah, get a big one going. All I right. know that you got to you got to chuck some um, flour in this. Right, a little bit. Yeah, just to. Um, just dust no, no. Pot. Yeah, put a bit in it. Oh, so it doesn't stick. Yeah, yeah. a bit more. I'll just get some more butter. Right, we'll go two cups in the the damper mix then, eh? Yeah, you don't need measurements, mate. Just wing it. Right, eh? I'm just following. We've got the uh, we've got the coals cooking away, nice and warm. Yeah. Ready to go. 
Well, chuck some milk in them, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> what? No, you want me to do butter! <laughs> I'm going to go flour, butter, milk. Oh, that'll be right. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, proper damper um, <laughs> makers here. Look, you can just. Kind of just gone all in. All steps combined. Right, Brody, you don't have your hands dirty, mate. I'm going to need a little bit more flour because it's too wet. You got to go by the. Um... Teeny bits. What a great idea. Oh no, that. I just meant the bowl. Oh. I made up my work. Alright. Just knead it in a little bit. Knead it, yep. Nice and good. Looking alright there. Well, I'm glad I didn't wash my hands. Yeah, you got that carp on there? Yeah, nice stinky carp. Mate. That looks, that looks soft. Yeah, but it's not smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Proper cooking show, mate. Shit show. Proper shit show. It's all about the finished product. That's it, mate. It's not how you start the race, it's how you finish it. Yeah. You want to lick my fingers? <laughs> nah. Go along, go along, go along! Go along. Oh, hut, hut, hut. Oh. Touchdown! No, no. Okay. Give the viewers a bit of a look at that. So, we've just lined the camp oven with some flour so it doesn't stick, which I'm sure. pretty sure we just like flatten it out. And that's pretty much what it's gonna rise in that shape beautiful awesome oh i think you might need to put like a little slice in it oh yeah give it a little bit of a and you got a bit of grater decoration Are you chucking a bit of grater on there no At when the it's end. done oh yeah beautiful mate that's unreal take that over to the coals eh might just do a little section there for it you don't want it too hot, because you don't want to burn it. Right. Just in there, just a little bit. Chuck her on. Yeah, she's toasty. Yep. Beautiful. Good job, Samantha. Couple on top. What do you reckon? See her in about half an hour, hour? What are we looking at? Um, yeah, anywhere from now until two hours time. <laughs> oh, let's check him. Oh, oh she's this go gone up quick. She's golden. We reckon five minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. That didn't take long, did it? Beautiful. Nice and crunchy. So there we have it. The damper is done. Little bush tucker. Who wants first go? You go, yeah. mate. Me? Yeah. yeah. Do you need a knife? Yeah, wasn't there one here? Yeah, that'll do. Gotta have the butter on it. The butter makes it. Right, oh. Cheers. How's it? Bit of jam. That's beautiful. All the flies are loving That's it. amazing. Here we go. Live reaction. Ah, mm. Nice and fluffy and a nice crunchy base, eh? Where should mm. you put your butter? Wherever it fits. Not bad, not bad. The flies love it too. Gee whiz. <laughs> a little bit of jam with, um... Oh my god, that's good. Mm -hmm. Cream, eh? Mmm. So there you have it. Damper was a success. I reckon it was pretty good. They reckon it was pretty good. So we're going to dig into that and um, enjoy ourselves for the rest of the night. Catch us in the morning.
Rightio, so we're gonna have a bit of a competition. I got a slingshot, so it's first to hit the target. We've got a can set up down there, and uh, we're gonna take in turns one at a time. First one to hit it wins. Let's go. Oh, that was pretty close. <laughs> oh, you see that? Nah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, far out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I get a redemption. Straight through it. Right. Check it out. Imagine that hitting you. Let me have one more. I got a redemption. I'll um I'll shoot with my eyes open this time. It's the wind. <laughs> Definitely not the wind. Got him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Well, there you have it. Mr. Brody is the winner. He hit the can first, but I made a comeback and I did hit it, so. But it didn't actually go didn't through. Didn't go through. Didn't go through, did it? No good. Well, well you're the winner, mate. Congratulations. Oh, cheers, mate. You win. It's a pleasure. The uh, yearly title of sling, Slingshot Champion. I've finally got one up on you. But unfortunately, <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't plucked a duck yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> I might learn. I might learn soon. Once, once you pluck a duck, you become the champ. So, I'll um, I'll let him have this one. But that's the uh, fun and games over and done with. So we've given up on the land fishing and we're taking the boat out. We've hired a tinny, and uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually called a boat. This look, is it. See, look, boat. B O T E. Boat. We're going on the boat. So we're going to take this out and um, see if we can catch some fish out on the open water. Might tie up to a couple of snags, but um, yeah, let's see how we go, eh? YouTube video is just going to be about you catching the fish, mate. Big bite. Wouldn't even call that catching a fish. Good Jeez. job, mate. Another one. Just cleaning up the environment. One fish at a time. You've caught a few. He's black, that one, isn't he? Yeah. Got some weight on it. Yeah, a little bit. Could just be a little one like what yours was. And... Wait, wait, this one's going back in the water. He's making a break for it! <laughs> yeah, quick action! <laughs> oh, he's gone! He's on! It's <laughs> all happening here. He's <laughs> alright, that fella. He's a bit of a bigger one. Oh, I hooked him. I hooked him under the fucking gill. Look at that. He's hooked in right under the gill. <laughs> Fucking oath. <laughs> there you go. I'm on the leaderboard. Hello, under the tally. Hello, mate. Just a bit the same size here. It's the same fish, mate. You threw him back and re-caught him. Oh. No, there's that many in here. <laughs> People are going to think I'm playing the same clip over and over. <laughs> So there we go, wrapping it up. We've packed up and we're ready to hit the road. What did you guys reckon of the weekend? It was awesome. Awesome? Yeah, it was a good, good getaway on the Murray. Bloody stinking hot, so it's good having that water right next to camp, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun. Caught a few fish, had a bit of fun. And um, yeah, it was awesome to meet you for the first time. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, you too. And, uh, 
yeah, good fun. Until next time, eh? So there you have it, the weekend is over, done and dusted, it's Monday morning, but lucky for us, we don't have to go back to work. This is our full-time job, we travel just like them, and uh, it's bloody awesome, you know, to catch up with people like that in our team, in the online community, and yeah, just living our best life. It was absolutely awesome, we had a good time, went fishing, caught heaps of fish, you know, had a, had a bit of a play around the slingshot, and um, yeah, just talked some shit around the campfire, it was absolutely awesome, great, great company to hang around and be around. And, it's just what I love to do, man. You know, when um, when Jordan is going to be in Mudra, I'm going to be doing this a lot more. So I've got a few other people that I'm going to be catching up with, and it's mainly just people in our business, you know, like because we're all sort of doing the same thing. We sort of have the same goals. Like I said at the start, you know, you know, it's good to surround yourself with people like that that are trying to achieve the same thing and working towards the same thing in life. And it's just good to, you know, be around them sort of people instead of you know, people that just drink piss and talk about the good old days and, you know, the Debbie Downers sort of thing. So it, it was amazing. Good weekend. Absolutely rate it. Now, I'm on my way back to Muldura. Uh, I've got to spend a couple of days there just sorting out the... I've got a, I've got a shitload of washing to do and, um, you know, catch up on a few things, start editing this video and all that sort of stuff. And then Tuesday, I actually get Bailey. So Bailey's going to come with me, but I'm not too sure what we're getting up to because... We're actually getting the the new bull bar, the new bar put on the um, on the car. Sorry, I'm just going over this bloody rickety old bridge. If you've come through Renmark before, you'll know that red bridge going back to Madrid. Oh man, she's tight. Anyway, um, yeah, we get the bar put on hopefully this week. So I don't know if I can go too far. And um, we're also getting the airbags redone. So ARB done the airbags a while ago, like over a year ago. And they've just been playing up ever since. They can't hold air and apparently they've um, had a lot of issues with us and other people that have got them as well. So they're re-kitting it all, putting new airbags in, doing more switches and shit for it. So getting all that done, getting the bar done. And um, yeah, so we've got a little bit of shit to do in Muldura. That's hence why we're there as well. But um, I'm going to be sort of doing these trips here and there. I reckon in the next video though, after this, I might do a survival mission. Because I'm just going to be doing, I'm like, I'm just going to be down the river for these videos. Because it's not, like, I can't go too far from Muldura. So, I'm just going to be down the river for most of these videos. So, I thought I might as well do a survival mission. Which will, um, which will be pretty cool. So, I'll, um, I'll commit to that. I'll see where I can go and, um, see what I can get up to. But, in the meantime, like I said, heading back to Muldura. Getting on top of the washing. Just getting on top of everything, really. Getting Bailey, which you'll see in the next clip or in the next few clips, whatever. I'll have Bailey and um, yeah, we'll probably end up going back down the river or whatever. But anyway, enough talking shit, mate. Shut it up. Righto, see you in a bit. So the day has arrived. I've finally gotten Miss Bailey made. So hey. Hey. Hey, how are you going? Hi. You happy? Cool. We're gonna go in the pool, aren't we? Yeah, you gonna go for a swim? Bye. All right. Well, that's us done for this video. We're going to go around to my auntie's place, go for a swim, enjoy ourselves, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to kick back for a few days, go down the river. I'm going to take her down the river for a bit and um, probably won't film that. Just enjoy ourselves, and uh, that's pretty much it. So make sure you stay up to date with our, with our Instagram. Go over to our Instagram, follow our page if you're not already. Stay up to date on the daily because we upload stories every single day there, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. So don't don't miss out on the bloopers, all right? Bloopers are funny, as it always, but um, that's it. Done and dusted. Video is over and out. Catch you later. Go away to Renmark while the we. There's no we. It's only me. I'm on my way to Renmark now. I'm on my way. 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 Speak English, mate. Now I'm on my way to Renmark to meet Brody and Samantha. Now, I actually haven't even... Oh, uh, da, 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 da. Fucking can't talk. English. Restart it. Um, grow up. No, done. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to cut it? Yeah. Oh. That better. We'll just kick. Are you ready? No pressure. <laughs> Using up all my storage. This is...
So we've, <clears throat> fucking hell. Here we go. Oh, fucking got bogged. It's all good. What the fuck? Out of fire. Oh, thanks, Brody, mate. Cut me off. 